Wicked, wicked fly. This is your summer. That means Six Flags in the taste of an ice cold Coca Cola. We're talking thrilling coasters, delicious burgers, yes. real moments together, and this. Coke is summer refreshment when you need it most, so you can hop on another ride. Six Flags and Coca Cola. Come make it yours. Visit sixflags.com slash coke to save up to $20 on passes plus daily tickets starting at $34.99. Welcome everybody. So we got a kind of a cloudy day. Uh, the rain coming. I was driving in this morning and it was cloudy and it was raining a little bit. And, and all of a sudden that giant full moon, you know, uh, poked out from behind the clouds. It said, hey, Critchy. Um And uh, I was just sitting here thinking and I'm like, maybe that's an explanation. I mean, the people are affected w- with our bodies being what? Not, what a two thirds water. We're affected by the moon. Like our bodies yeah, but that was are effective. Yeah. So you think it's still pulling on us? Dude, it's still a full moon. I mean, I saw it. it looked like no, a full moon. It's not anymore. Yeah, don't full... give me that. It's a full moon. <laughs> okay, well, it was. It, the... It's a full moon. <laughs> when you look up in the sky, it's a giant circle. Maybe there's one eighth of an inch yeah, of a gone, sliver off so the it's side. It's no longer it's full. It's still a full, it was full moon. Of you. Tuesday full. night, the buck moon, which was a super <laughs> moon. So maybe it still has a pull on us because it was a super moon. I don't know. Close. It's there's... the closest it's going to be, it... uh, you know. To Earth? Miles wise. Yeah. On Tuesday. Okay. Well, anyway, I, mean, I just thought maybe that's why. Maybe because it's a full moon, we've got the after effects. I don't know. I can't explain the weirdness uh, in the studio. It's got to be the moon, man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Or the alcohol. Could be, uh, could be that. I haven't. Black no, I take that yeah. back. <laughs> Were you going to say you didn't drink today? Yeah. Scotty, what do you... Uh, well, I know you're packing and stuff and getting ready. Yeah. But you don't leave. When do you leave? Uh, Saturday morning, I pick Sadie up at 4. Oh. Well, A.M. Want to come over the house before then? Why? Bachelor pad. Oh. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Mouse nice. That's what I'm talking about. I knew you smelled weird. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bachelor <laughs> you pad, smell baby. Like, you smell like Bachelor sex. Bachelor pad, you know. <laughs> so last night. He's it, got that sex smell about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's sex panther. 60% of the time. It works 100% every time. of the time. <laughs> okay. Um, it's made from bits of real panther, Kelly. Uh, Kelly doesn't. No, no, he's, he's not going to watch a cool movie like that. But I will say, uh, so Valerie says to me, reminding me of you, Laura, she's like, I'm going to go to the grocery store today to make sure that you have enough, you know, food. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll get, what do you want for dinner? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, some <laughs> lunch, meat, and condoms. Like, oh. No. <laughs> for the drive, same purpose? Drive safe. No. no, I just said, honey, don't worry about it. You don't have to do that. It's, it's fine. The hookers are bringing chicken. Okay, there's no hookers. I'm not doing it's anything. It's the only way they're allowed in the door. Rotisserie <laughs> chicken. I'm not, now. <laughs> I, uh, and, and I, so I was like, Ground no. beef with ketchup. Bam! That's the only thing I said. I said, if you're going to the grocery store, just get hamburger and that's fine. And I'll be fine. But uh, she's like, I'm going to get a roasted chicken. I'm like, honey, I only eat roasted chicken when it's hot and it's fresh. I'm not cutting it up afterwards. Once it's done, it's not. Oh, no. Anyway. Yeah, you can totally reheat that. But my point was... I'm like, honey, you don't, you don't need to do that. I'll be fine. I don't. I can make whatever is out of the fridge. Don't even sweat it. It's a few days. She you was know? just telling you that maybe there's nothing in the fridge. She's gonna I'd go. S- I would still survive. Okay. I'm not William H Macy in Pleasantville when I walk home and don't know what to do because my wife didn't make dinner. I'm not that guy. I, I'm good. I'm good. There's plenty of restaurants nearby where I can get a sandwich, you know, uh, or a pizza. Or just a bowl of cereal from the cupboard. I'm not worried about it. But I got a bachelor. I got a bachelor situation. Nice. Going on. Okay. So you no no kids, not, nobody. You're good. Uh, no. Well, Caitlin, oh. you know, is is, but she's working. Well, I didn't so, know if she'd yeah. be home too. So no, she you're... is. She will be. But I'm like, I don't, I don't have to. I'm not bound to go home. Like when I get off work today, maybe I'll just go north. Look at you. You know, you're crazy. I'm not really I'm sure what separates well, you from any other day. You got to come back tomorrow. We <laughs> still have to work tomorrow. No, I know that. <laughs> Maybe Friday. You can but it's north. just so funny. Like women want to prepare everything. I don't want to. No, I'm good. Just it's fine. It's funny because I Amy, want her to do the Amy work. Amy is just the opposite. <laughs> hey, I'm going to mom and dad's camp. See you later. And you kind of go, well, I mean, what's in the? She's like, she well, knows you, it'll make you, you stronger. You live in the. We live in the food mecca. Yeah. Uh, we're minutes from anything. Y- y- yeah. You're fine. I-, I get a text from Cass every day. Cut up a salad. You have this. You have this. If you want this, cook it for this for this long. This is how you can have it. 
I get a menu wow. like that every day. Yeah. You're, she's like the Laura. It's not, she's that. not making it off, but I've, I'm given my options and yeah. how to prepare said Fair option. Baby. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I think because she knows I just ordered Domino's. Uh, <laughs> Domino's. <laughs> Scotty, just know doors open. Kelly, uh, doors open batch night. Uh, right. nice. And the pool, we fixed the pool, so the pool, you know, we got oh, that too. Oh, my so God. Good. There's going to be bikinis hanging from the clothesline. And those Maybe are just going to be Greg's. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sorry. It's a good one. I'll it was a lot. It was right there. A good one is a good one. Yeah. I, I, I got to admit it. Um, but anyway, so yeah. You don't just, have to worry about being stung by anything. So I thought, I, uh, it sounds like it's quite the place. <laughs> you know, I got that all day long. Everywhere yesterday I went, and every comment I got via email comments or the uh, or the, uh, the the talk back uh, you know thing on the uh, IR radio app. It was all about that I removed a bee's nest from underneath uh, some equipment. Later in the show yesterday, if you if you weren't tuned in, we were we had to fix the area around the pool and we moved something. Holy crap! Who knew that bumblebees made nests in the ground? I did not know. I know that uh, wasps and, and and yellow jackets do, but it was you know it was about um, a volleyball size, looked like a volleyball size you know thing in the ground, and um, only had eight or nine. Bumblebees. That's all, that's all I could see. Yeah. <laughs> and so I uh, got rid of it. Got to stomping. I did not. <laughs> you know, I'm not stomping on a bee's nest. That's stupid. I know. Okay, but I did. Did uh, you do the hairspray and a lighter? I did. Uh, no, fire was not involved. Okay, but I did. Yeah, I removed it. I got rid of it. And, do you look like the guy from Stranger Things with the flamethrower? And I. <laughs> it was no flamethrower. But all I, I mean, I, I, I mentioned it and I got the hell beat out of me uh, because, you know, apparently you can have somebody come and, and take it and, and move it and replace them because bees are very important. I know bees are important. There was, there was like seven or eight bees, okay, that I could see. So uh, they get, they would close, I have a, a close family member that has the allergies, the bumblebee allergy, if they get stung, you know. So get it out of there. That's it. It was a plain, instant decision. You know, we can't have anybody getting stung. They could be allergic, including this family member. You're out. Boom. Gone. And all of a sudden, every, you know, every bee lover, tree hugger in the world had to condemn me to <laughs> the just, fiery depths of hell. Or just people that love to argue with you. I know. <laughs> right, or- I know. I know. <laughs> and I was just like, I'm sorry. I did it. And I, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't. Don't be sorry well, to one us. One of those that was not happy was your, your daughter. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, she came at me right as I was doing it. And I said, sorry, it's got to go. You know, smoke it out. Smoke it out. What am I? What do I? I need a Traeger now? I, no, I'm, it's you gone. It's out. Let I know some friends that would have come over and smoked that out for you. <laughs> I gotta let the Those pros would have been laying on the ground going, I, "Yeah, I see a purple elephant." Uh, I gotta pay some. I, 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 gotta, I, gotta, I gotta bring in the pros to do it. I gotta pay somebody to come in and do it. I could do it in five seconds. It was done. But yeah, I took some heat. Okay, and deservedly so. Okay, but I still and so did the bees. I still oh. argue that uh, you know. I did what I had to do. That's all there is to it. I did what I had to do. Well, this, in this world, it was no matter, me at the B. No matter what you do, right? Somebody's out there looking to shame you and make you feel bad about something you did. Okay? It wasn't a massive thing. I just did a little thing, got rid of it, and that was it. If there was a, a bunch of squirrels in my in my house, I got to be honest with you. You can call me what you want, but they're getting out of my house. And, they, and I'm not really worried about whether they're alive if I do. No, wait a minute. Wait if a minute. they're in my house, squirrels in the, in the, squirrels in the house... Gone. Uh, is a lot different than bees. Squirrels in your house, they're going to start eating the wiring. They could cause a fire. I am totally with you right. on that. And the bumblebees could sting somebody with an allergy and they could go into anaphylactic shock. I just shock. think that you could you could have moved them along nicely. You could or, sit here and say that, but you, my friend, would have actually taken out a flamethrower. I think of all of your tree-hugging stuff that you did. And look, I love nature and stuff like that, too. But you were lying through your teeth yesterday. I, I am... Were, what? I don't think you were lying. Thank you. <laughs> I would have tried, tried my best to relocate them to have a happier life somewhere else. Whichever way my wind blows is exactly the opposite way of what Scotty's going to say. I am not answering that. And okay. I'm making no comment. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, we've got to buzzword. Oh, we could, we could fly. This is your summer. That means Six Flags in the taste of an ice cold Coca-Cola. We're talking thrilling coasters, delicious burgers, yes. real moments together, and this. Coke is summer refreshment when you need it most, so you can hop on another ride. Six Flags and Coca-Cola. Come make it yours. Visit SixFlags.com slash Coke to save up to $20 on passes, plus daily tickets starting at $34.99.